with Jason Crevin, CEO of Science Live. Jason, for the benefit of those who don't know the product, could you explain the difference between Signage Live and traditional digital signage? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Brian. Um, signage Live is a web-based digital signage platform. So traditionally, digital signage has been uh, what's considered on-premise, so having to install servers and PCs, etc., and, and our local premises. But what we do is we use the power of the internet. So it's very similar to Google or Hotmail. You log in via a standard web browser, and you can manage your uh, devices anywhere in the world. And here at ISC, you're introducing some new Android-based technology? Yeah, that's right, Brian. Um, what we've done, basically, is traditionally Signage Live was a PC-based uh, digital signage software platform. Um, but we found that our customers are now looking for uh, the ability to use multiple devices and different operating systems. So in addition to our PC support um, and uh, Mac, Linux, um, we've now added the Android capabilities so that you can now run Signage Live on mobile devices and tablets. And the key advantages to both the end user and the reseller of Science Live technology, how would you categorise those? Yeah, good question. Um, what we find really with the, the reseller market in particular is that um, they're looking for a solution now that actually um, is an umbilical between them and their customers. So whereas with traditional signage solutions and, and maybe AV generally, um, organisations have sold a, a piece of equipment, installed it and maybe walked away, now what Signage Live enables them to do, sorry, enables them to do is to uh, have an uh, ongoing relationship with the customer due to the fact that it's uh, provided as a service. And your distribution policy, it's through the channel only? It is, it's exclusively channel. Um, we work uh, globally through a network of distribution and resellers and um, we fully support those. So our job really is to work with the resellers, work with them and their end users, and um, work through how the applications are going to work, bring that back through the channel, and uh, support them in terms of supplying the uh, Signage Life software in conjunction with the hardware that they've chosen. And in terms of international availability, how many countries is the, is the product available in now? Okay, well, uh, we're just about to launch uh, Signage Live in 42 languages um, globally. It's the power of uh, using a cloud-based platform. So um, currently we're in at least 25 countries currently use Signage Live. And uh, we fully expect with the emergence of our character-based support, um, we'll open up uh, Asia Pac uh, for us in particular over the next 12 months. In terms of your presence here at ISC, What's your benchmark of success for this show? Yeah, ISC is important for us because it gives us an opportunity, firstly, to meet existing partners, um, meet with our uh, vendors, uh, co-vendors in terms of hardware organisations as well that we partner with, um, but also to, to give uh, the opportunity for potential resellers to come and see Signage Live in action, uh, both the product that's available as of today and, and the future releases that we have coming out over the next couple of months. Um, so it's a, it's a very important show for us. So a, a measure of success would be um, really the ability to, to engage with more resellers and uh, get them signed up for Signage Live going forward. Can you give us any insights into what we might expect from the product over the, the forthcoming months? Yeah, most definitely. Um, in addition to, obviously we mentioned the, the Android support, um, we're launching a new uh, layout uh, creator. So the ability to design multiple zones, um, best way of describing it is this uh, PowerPoint meets uh, Photoshop um, in terms of the technology. Very, very easy to use. Um, and in addition to that, um, obviously the, the 42 language support gives us a uh, huge reach and capability. Um, the great thing about that is it's browser aware. What that actually means is that uh, the system will automatically detect how the user has their PC or their uh, computer set up um, and it will adapt to the language of that automatically. Excellent. Thanks very much, Jason. Thank you.